Kennedy due back soon for West Coast. Oliver spinning brilliantly out of the middle. Got it inside 50. There is Tom McDonald. Oliver came back for a second go. Got the handball out. Brayshaw back inside. Little one here to Kent. Kent tried to sneak it through. Good kick. Great slips catch by Melksham. And Melksham has taken a mark. And Melbourne starting brilliantly again. Really great composure there from Kent. He looked down. He wanted to bang it long inside 50, but just held his composure. Looked back off the line, and that's where you can often find it. A play in short inside 50 because the defence peels back and rolls back to the goal square. Number of set shots this year haven't been good for Melbourne. And in this game, they've had a few from this position and closer at this end of the ground. What have we got here to now? Melksham keeps the ball low. Good looking ball. That's a goal. They'd be happy with that, the Demons. Melksham kicks the first of the second half. Melbourne by 20 points here. Absolute cracking start here at the start of the second half. But Melbourne are the best third quarter side in, in the game. They're plus go. 208 points. They do come out after halftime breaks very quickly. Donald comes from three deep. Jet up. Clever ball, Salem, sidestep, terrific vision. And the Demons, with Neil Bullen, out the back, they've got them again. And Melksham, back into the side, wastes no time, and he squeezes it home. The Demons can stiff September. Got a couple, Melksham, today. And that's a very good time to nail one. I have to look at new ways to score with no Jesse Hogan, but Hannon showing a bit today. Melksham, we know, so they've got some genuine options. This all come off the back of the brilliant play by Salem and the vision, not just a whack it down the line, actually square the ball up, shift it, shift the angles of attack, which allows him a lot more space to work inside 50. 15 marks inside 50 this week for Melbourne. The helmet's off, but he keeps his head just when he needed to. Fritz into a little bit of space, Hannon. Shepherds decides oh, not to top. come. It was a bad blue. Look at this over the top. Melksham's going to mark and run into an open goal. Melbourne are back in front, and they're back in the eight. So brilliant stuff from Jake Melksham. And Melksham has milked his third goal. What does Adam Simpson do now? Melbourne by five, Jimmy. Well, Shepard normally roll up there, but because he slipped over, he had to quickly go back and take his man, McDonald, which, which allowed them to get that extra number over the back. Just unfortunate slip there from Shepard. Adam Simpson calling for a water. Could be time for something stronger <laughs> if you're in his position. Against a top two team let alone a top eight side Petrarca and here it comes into the hands of Milton and just outside the goal square he will take 30 seconds off the clock Shannon. and potentially make it a three possession game yeah he shouldn't even start his approach here until there's about three seconds to go he's got to be careful though because if you deliberately waste time in this position, position Jimmy, they can call play on but he can he can make this look like he's trying to snap the foot yeah, yeah. that's what i'm yeah. saying yeah. if you if you do it in an obvious fashion like he is watching the scoreboard he's telling him that's exactly right told to go but the heartache of 2017 is replaced by sheer joy the demons will be part of september just to just to sh uh, clarify that point, so yep. he can use his full 30, providing it's part of his normal preparation. What he should do is put the ball on the ground, pull up his socks, and make it look instead of standing there staring at the yep. scoreboard and making it obvious that you're wasting time, go through a preparation. Yeah, put the cell on. Yeah, yeah stick the absolutely. mouth guard and the sock, do the laces up. Players all that have sort got of to stuff. be aware of that. Three goals in the last quarter for Jake Melsham.